Hey, everybody, Ann here, the crazy chicken lady. That's the perfect spot for it. Just finishing up my coffee. I've already let the dogs out for their romp. The chickens are out roaming about. Um, I'm drying off some uh, wood on the uh, wood-burning stove. You know, some of that stuff that I split up because it's still pretty green. Here, I'll try and do a picture-in-picture -picture and show you what that looks like, how I do it. I just put it on top of the um, little stove on top of a rack. I don't put it directly on the stove because it'll catch on fire. Uh, but it works real well in drying out wood that is otherwise pretty green. So also, um, the puppies have been getting out. I thought I had the yard shored up really, really super well, but uh, somehow they're still getting out. Um, and I think it's it's through the chicken wire fence into the uh, rooster, old rooster pen. So I took that uh, heavy gauge wire fencing from, you know, outside the chicken yard, and I brought it inside. Um, I tried to get some of those posts out, and I even tried the little trick that you do with the post pounder. It wouldn't work. Um, this clay soil, once it something sets in there, it is just really hard to get out. I know I can still get the posts out. Um, I'm just going to have to dig a hole, dig a hole around them, and get them out that way. So that's what I'm going to have to do um, because I need the sturdy posts, you know, inside that or outside that yard so I can put that heavy duty um, fencing up. I've actually put it up against the posts that are currently there but um, they'll be able to push through it and probably pull it down somehow or the other so um, I'm just not going to be able to do it today. It's just too wet out there. It's too damp. Um, it's very very sunny so that's cool. Look at those cute puppies back there. They're sleeping. They're being good. But, uh, so I'm not going to show me really doing anything interesting today because I haven't done anything interesting. Just kind of putting a little bit of fencing up and trying to get those fence posts out. So, but I got something on my mind, uh, and it's this whole thing in Ukraine, um, the whole Russian invasion. And I am just getting sick to death of all of the fake news out there. Don't believe anything anybody is saying. Literally, no one can be trusted right now. I don't trust Fox News. I don't, I don't trust any of the news outlets on the left. You know, CNN, ABC, MSNBC, you know, all of those channels. I don't trust any of them. I don't trust social media influencers. One of the people that I follow on um, Rumble, who I used to really, really respect, is a conservative, um, well, he works for Fox. He's a Fox newscaster. And he puts up like little brief snippets of stuff dealing with current events. Well, he put up one that um, looked like it was a bombing going down in Ukraine. Well, it was, um, you know, a city on fire being bombed or whatever in Ukraine, but it was part of a documentary that came out like six, seven, eight years ago. Um, and so, and so people are getting video game footage and they're putting on the internet, uh, for this ghost of Kiv thing, you know, this, uh, fighter pilot that's going out and down in all these Russian jets. Um, and they say, this is him. Well, it's not. It's footage from a video game and major news outlets are parroting in this stuff. They're so stupid. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. So. Don't believe anything anybody's telling you. I don't trust anybody. You know, come to find out there's some stuff about Ukraine that maybe isn't so complimentary towards the United States, and that is that they actually do have bio labs there that were producing, uh, supposedly, I don't know yet. I mean, there's there's people on the right who are bringing this out. And generally speaking, nobody wants to know that there are bio labs in the Ukraine that the Russians are trying to blow up because that could be very bad. Um, especially, nobody wants to know, nobody wants it to get out that maybe those bio labs maybe were put there by the United States. You know, we had all this thing of weapons of mass destruction and, oh, that's so bad. And, you know, chemical weapons. You shouldn't, no country should have those. So, what? What? Did we have anything to do with those bio labs over in the Ukraine? Somebody school me on this. Let me know. I haven't done the research yet. I'm going to be looking into that today. Because if there's bio labs in there and Ukraine was creating 
weapons of biological warfare? That ain't cool, man. That ain't cool at all. Um, I don't think anybody should be able to make those. And, um, I don't know. I'm just all worked up about this. <laughs> I'm all worked up. Uh, so I'm just, I'm going to tune out for the rest of the day. But, you know what? I, I was kind of thinking about this and Biden, why he's kind of like wishy-washy about how his administration, well, it's not just Biden. I mean, Biden doesn't call the shots. It's his handlers. Um, I was kind of thinking sort of like, it kind of seems like, you know, the current United States top administration people don't really care about the average Ukrainian citizens, don't really care if Russia blows the whole place up and turns it into a sandbox. I wonder why. Why would that be? Well, because um, the Biden administration wants America to depend on Russian oil. Um you know, he's called for a stop to that, of course. And, of course, our gas prices are going to go up even more. But he shouldn't have done that in the first place. That was stupid. Um, but just just kind of think about this. What if our current leadership, on both the left and the right, possibly, don't care enough about Ukraine because they don't want it to get out that you, the United States is funding biolabs in Ukraine. Now, I don't know if this is the actual truth. I, I don't know. Um, there's been some high-level people saying that there are biolabs in Ukraine that border the Ukraine-Russia border. What if, what if, you know, the United States leadership doesn't want... Uh, Ukraine to succeed and doesn't really care that much if Russia goes in and bombs everything because if they're going to bomb those biolabs, there's going to be no evidence of it. So there's not going to be, you know, any scandal about who put those there. Some people are saying it's uh, Obama that put them there. Some people said they are they were there for four or five years. So we don't know. I don't know what's going on in those labs. I don't know if there really are labs. So you guys just let me know what you're finding out and then we'll talk again and find out together what's actually going on. But for the most part, don't believe most of the fake news that you're out there, that, that's out there right now, because most of it is lies. It's propaganda on both sides, on both sides. So it's almost better just to tune out. Seriously, just to tune out. And so that's what I've been doing, kind of tuning out. You know what? YouTube is going to demonetize this, I'm, I'm sure, for they'll find some reason to um, give me a little yellow money sign instead of a green one. I don't care. Um, so just be very smart in what you're listening to. And... I don't know. It might be better if we all just turned off the TV. Well, I don't have a TV, but if we all just turned away from social media, turned away from well, YouTube, <laughs> turned away from YouTube except my channel, except for channels like Bobblehead and, you know, other channels that do the st kind of stuff we're doing, um, except when we're talking about politics. So I'm not, I won't be surprised if you guys tune out from this video because nobody wants to hit hear about politics just be smart you guys don't listen to all of the propaganda that's out there um and start preparing for your own future because things are going to get more expensive gas is already more expensive things are already too expensive and if we don't start preparing and start buying things look for sales if you uh, can find like rice wheat flour, sugar, salt, um, baking powder, baking soda, um, you know, non-perishables in bulk that are on sale, buy them. I did. I bought a, it's like a 50 pound thing of rice and it was like $20 off. So I've got a ton of rice. And so whenever I find something like that that's on sale, I'm going to get it. And I will uh, talk to you more about my, it's not really a prepper pantry. It's just my pantry that's preparing me for the future. I guess it is a prepper pan pantry. Anyhow, I'm just going to keep going on and on. Just let me know what your thoughts 
are about this whole Ukraine thing, I think we need to keep the Ukrainian people, the citizens, in our thoughts and prayers because they are suffering. They're they're being killed and, you know, their numbers, again, we don't know how many because we don't know who's telling us the truth. But I think we need to keep the average citizens in our prayers. Maybe not necessarily the leadership or the politicians or the people in power, but the average Ukrainian citizens because they are really suffering. And the people in Poland, too, they're suffering because millions of Ukrainians have gone over into Poland and um, Poland is trying to help them all. So pray for Poland as well. Anyhow, um, I'm off my soapbox. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the sunshine. It's a little bit brisk outside. It's going to drop down in temperature again tonight, but um, that's okay. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, join my dogs, join my chickens, and start planting my garden. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.